we present the Edinburgh Military Tattoo of 1980. From Rutgers University, New Brunswick, in the state of New Jersey, the Queen's Guard. This famous drill team is paying its third visit in 12 years to the Edinburgh Military Tattoo. Rutgers has 45,000 students. It was inaugurated as Queen's College in 1766, 10 years before the American Declaration of Independence, hence the name Queen's Guard, which you heard used then by the commander of the team, Vern James, Jr. The precision drill guard of 16 students with Springfield rifles fixed with razor-sharp 16-inch bayonets carry out the display in silence, except for the oohs and ahs of the audience. And the applause. They rehearse each evening for about one and a half hours before a performance. The uniforms, as you can see, have tapered tunics without pockets to eliminate the danger of snagging the movements. And the team wear soft white leather gloves. They make it look easy, ladies and gentlemen, don't they? In fact, these 1903 Springfield rifles weigh 12 and a half pounds, and they haven't been lightened in any way. This display requires not only courage, but enormous concentration. Each member of the guard has to memorize a completely different set of movements according to his position in the team. And the movements themselves are not from any drill manual. They've evolved over almost 50 years of precision drill performances. And the aim is that the tips of the blade should, at the closest, be only two inches apart.
Since they were last here in 1973, Queen's Guard has performed in four other international festivals, two in Australia, one in Canada, and one in Germany. And to date, they're the only overseas contingent to have appeared three times at the Edinburgh Tattoo. Now they will see their routine, which they call suicide. I think you'll see why, ladies and gentlemen. These bayonets are very, very sharp. survived suicide, uh, all of the students return to their academic studies. Immediately the tattoo ends on September the 6th. It's a wonderful display. Queen's Guard under their commander, Vern James. <laughs> 